Why, hello there. I did not see you. Today, we are going to be showing off the Beginner's Guide to Gorilla Tag. That at least I know I might do this in the future if I ever post this. Anyways, today I'm going to be showing you guys a bit of on how to play the game. Some fun tips about certain maps. And also, I don't think any of this is edited. <laughs> it's a bit too Okay. So, here's the basics. Often, a lot of people like to do this when they're walking. A lot of people just like to thrust up into the air. As you can see, this is only good if the lava monkey really sucks. But just never do this on a regular basis. It's literally gonna screw up your thing. So the strategy is to do this. Like, so put it on the ground then, you know, like, then you keep on doing that. And once you get the hang of it, you can do something like this. See, a little bit better. Well, at least it was better than doing this. Anyways, so climbing up ramps. A lot of people think it's like the exact same thing. Like, I mean, no, you could do that. But let's just take the bouncing up, for example. If you think doing this the right way, you honestly kind of suck. And no, don't do this either. It's also the worst way. So, what you practically do, obviously, you just lick it up a little bit. And then when you see, if you pick up momentum, you can speed up. And then going over the bridge, it's simple as that. Now, next up, we are going to talk about pinch climbing and wall jumping. Let me just get over there. As you can see, this is why I'm in forest right now. Okay, so a lot of people think you just go like that. Like they just push up, they just, you know, do that. You see, pretty bad. Because as you can see, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good until I fail because I went forward. So what you want to do, like you have to thrust up, of course, but you also need to push yourself a little bit into it. Trust me, this will not hurt. So then you go into it. So you jump into it. And once you get the hang of it, you're doing pretty good. Next up, wall jumping. Here, this this is not wall jumping. This this isn't even close to wall jumping right now. Like, I mean, you'll get up there slowly. But in a rush, the thing you want to do is at first you want to do this. And do not try to hold on. It will just make it hot harder. So the way I sometimes do it is that I do this with my hands. I I put it right next to the wall. Then I go up and up and up and up and up and alley-oop until you finally get up. So the next thing we have to cover is, you know, jumping from branch to branch. So as you can see, yeah, like, first, you need to learn how to pinch climb on different things. Like, see, this isn't a pole. It kind of is, but you see it's getting smaller each time. So, what you need to do is that you have to, you know, learn what's a good uh, to go on the tree. This is not that hard to remember. You just remember... Which part would be good? Not like, you know, trying to all climb up this part because it will be physically impossible to go up this. So, you have to speed remember that this is right here. And this, you can sort of pinch climb. Now, jumping from branch to branch, we're going to go up the ramp again. 
So if you're watching this on your PC or whatever while you're playing, we are going to go up here. Then you can start right here. And this also helps with getting to stump. So then that was easy. But now how to get from here, you just go very fast. If you go thrustfully, it will not do anything at all to your liking. So as you can see, I'm kind of doing the thing, but I'm not just like jumping from here to there. That That's kind of far because, you know, it's a bit farther. You just go like from here to there to etc. So, that will be probably all the basics we're covering, but quickly, how to get up here, you walk up here. Also, do not forget how you originally used to jump like this. You need that for getting up here. Then, if you want to, like, squat down, do not, like, you know, bend your knees, just, just, you know... Stick your hand to push you down. This also helps with getting through the cracked window. Oh, gosh. <laughs> like, I swear this is the final thing to the video. So you see that crack in the window, right? That helps you get one of the most expensivest items in the game. So, we are gonna go inside. Trust me, this is not burglary. You walk past these things, then you get up here, then you walk around and bada bing bada boom. Now, I highly suggest you did not waste your money on this thing, because it's pretty useless, honestly. Because often, whenever someone's wearing it, like they often bought it. Me, I feel more like the fruits would be a better idea. As you can see, we got pineapple, we got coconut, and we even got this. Yeah, so, if you want more items, like slightly more, like maybe 10 more items to sale, you can go to these little shacks. This would be like the shopping mart, like, you know how some places don't really have a superstore, they have a shopping mart, like you can get that, you can get piercings, you can get eye patches, don't use those. And uh, these bad boys. Which I kind of wanted to get, but I'm not going to waste my money. And now, where you might be wondering, how does everyone get the eyebrows? Hint, this uh, thing is for noobs, probably. <laughs> so, you get the eyebrows right here, and to get it, you can click on it. Then, you go back. Hence, you do not need to take path necessary. And then, if you're concerned about how you will look, and if you just wasted your monkey money, you can see here, in which I use as a replacement, because I don't know, how, I don't have the thing. So then, yeah, that's how you play. Then to purchase it, you go back to your little shopping cart, you select, then you go to yes, and then you press yes, I need it. And that is how. Okay, bye-bye, folks. I will see you in the next video that will probably come tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Take care.